Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in and joining me for this one. We'll be checking out some ultra rare anomalies I discovered at a new site in the northern mid-latitudes of Mars. It doesn't happen often, folks, so get your favorite soda and popcorn and stay tuned for this one. Lots of anomalies to cover at this site just to the north of Okavango Vallis on Mars. The high-rise photograph is called Channels on Mesa in Deuternalis Mense, acquired on the 9th of February 2021 at 30.2 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing images cropped from a JP2 black and white map projected file just over a gigabyte in size. The photograph is a bit blurry so it doesn't look too good but you can make out the anomalies nonetheless. There's a look at the low res black and white and this is a, a very weird landform in this region and a part there in the center line of that what looks like a huge structure under sand and dust. The site's located in this region of Mars, 46 degrees 39 minutes north, 17 degrees 11 minutes east. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies close by towards the end of the video. First one right there folks, check out this surface feature. Each side of this thing is about 50 meters in length and we've got what looks like a perfect hexagon. We can see six of the sides there and then a square structured item of here to the bottom right. There it is outlined folks. Undeniable, check out the geometry and symmetry in this one. So how does that form in nature? Not a typical impact crater if you ask me. But anyway, here's the next one. We've got another geometric shape in the surface. Check out the straight edges and right angles to this. Looks like that area there has been cleared out. The boulders and rocks being pushed out to the outer edges. And we've got some blocky items over here to the bottom right. And there's another one I found that I featured recently in my video called Fourth Pyramid found at the Raptor Zone complex on Mars. And it's also in the northern mid-latitudes of Mars. And it's also about the same size. So I wonder what's going on in the northern mid-latitudes of Mars with these strange surface features. And we're looking at uh, some blocks again, folks. This one's about five meters tall, straight edges, right angles to it. And we can see the one flat side over there lit up in the sunlight. And there we've got two similar blocks. This one to the right is about the same size. And it's also got a uniform thickness to it as well. And there's another smaller block. It looks like a side view of one of these over here. Then we're looking at a totally out of place artifact there folks. It's about 12 to 14 meters in length. It's got the straight edges right angle there. It's got a strange jagged edge and then small parts on the top running parallel with this one side and if this is a piece of metal or we're looking at some type of wreckage there folks and we've got a strange rectangular structured item there about 12 by 12 meters in size check out the multiple right angles going in here folks Got a parallel edge running across the top there. Looks almost as if it could be an opening in this blocky item. And there's a small part sticking out of that opening if it is one. Check out the dark spot of here too. Got a uniform width 
to this rectangular part running across the top. So could this be some type of rectangular structure with this opening on the one side? And then this strange part about 12 meters across and it's got a small spherical object lying there on the one side. It's got two V-shaped slots on either side of this item. Okay, let's shoot off to the northern mid-latitudes to that site just north of Okavongo Vallis. Interesting name. And there's a brief look at those anomalies again. Check out the similar blocks. Then those geometric surface features. And then about 80 kilometers to the east we've got this site. Check out the small block there. And there we have a triangular feature in the surface about 30 meters per side folks how do meteorites cause depressions like this some rather strange surface activity if you ask me and then down to the southwest got a huge triangular part there covered in sand each side of that item is about 50 meters in length then uh, another hexagonal surface feature. Check out the geometry and symmetry there. And then let's shoot off to the east and have a look at these. Looks like a piece of sheet metal bent up over there. Small part in its center. Some strange alignments on top of these blocks let's see what else we have here that's that strange statue like anomaly it looks like a Mayan statue with the eye there, the nose, mouth, the ear and then the body rather weird anomaly as well We've got lots of these look like pieces of wreckage. That strange block about 8 meters long. Those small parts across the top. Strange circular depressions there with this huge block lying on the one side. This is about 80 meters long, if I can recall correctly. Look at the L-shaped part running across the top. And the circular features on that raised area there. More of the smaller parts, small objects in their centers. And then this one, where we have the strange obelisks. This one's about 12 meters long, as well as that piece there. That's it for this one, guys and girls. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give it a huge thumbs up and share it with your like-minded friends. And let's have a chat in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of these strange geometric shapes that look as if they've been carved into the Martian surface. Got that six-sided shape, the squares, and then the triangle. To my new subscribers, welcome on board. I hope you enjoy my work and research. Thanks for joining the channel. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Cheers for now.